It's fascinating to hear Rand speak about how he coped facing treacherous conditions by evoking the spirits of his ancestors. But I'll never quite understand what drove him to pursue challenges where he'd stare death in the face. He will pass through mile after mile of crevasse fields, and on this expedition, there'll be no one there to pull him out of danger. Three years ago, finds emerged from the Antarctic after 97 days, more dead than alive. It was a close run thing, a very, very close run thing. I had to try to get back to land because all the time the ice was breaking. In the case of being frightened of dying because you don't know what's going to happen when you go into the other world if there is one, I had a massive heart attack and was on life support for three days and nights. Ironically, Rand's heart attack in 2003 was not during a grueling expedition, but while boarding a commercial flight. So now do you, do you have a fear of death or no fear of death? No, I just know that I was, quote, dead, unquote, for three days and nights. And you don't remember anything at all? You exactly. were just in your sleep? There were no angels or bright lights or anything at all. It's nothing to be frightened of. You know, there aren't going to be endless devils and pitchforks. The rest is silence. A deathly nothingness. My cousin, the ultimate pragmatist.